Hi, Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches. I had planned an afternoon fish up the hibiscus coast that would see me fishing late into the evening. The moon phase looked okay and a gentle northeasterly was improving the wave action on the rocks so I pulled out the kayak and loaded up to paddle out to find a rock spot to fish the next 8 hours or so. On my way out I surprised something in the waves, maybe a kawai or mullet, whatever it was it was good to see fish in the shallows feeding. Looking for a spot to land wasn't difficult, it was looking for a ledge that wouldn't be submerged in the next few hours that was going to be the challenge. I knew I may have to move around as the tide crept up the rocks and the sun went down. I found a spot and set up. Most of the afternoon, snapper of various sizes jumped the bait and got caught. The tide advanced up the rock and I had to make a move and leave the fish while they were still biting. There was about an hour of daylight left so I had some time to find another spot to fish the night. I saw a ledge that looked safe and set up the gear again. The day was calming down nicely and I was pretty sure I would get some bites as darkness fell, either from the local mosquitoes or hopefully the snapper. I was trying to figure out if I should be casting out over the sand and mud with a light ball sinker attached or fishing in close over the kelp with just a hook and bait. There were oyster beds in close so I tried out further but the action wasn't very fast. I was checking behind me to make sure I wouldn't get cut off as the tide got higher and got a fright as I saw a good sized ray swimming in the shallows. One bait ended in a bite off, probably a shark considering it was 40 pound leader. My strategy was to let the bait sink and slowly retrieve it along the bottom. I got a good hit and had a heavy fish fighting me every inch. I knew there was a rocky lip with line cutting oysters on it so I had to put hard pressure on and keep the rod lifted high to avoid getting cut off. It was a good looking fish, I could almost taste pan fried snapper for dinner. It had swallowed the hook even though I had been slowly retrieving the bait. The slow retrieve seemed to work well and I was into another fish. Fishing into the night had its moments, with some more pan sized fish venturing in close to the rocks. I had to chase a rat off my snapper at one stage, but overall it was a good night out with three more snapper in the bag. The paddle home was pretty quick, it's amazing how the fear of sharks in the dark can make you shave a few minutes off your time paddling in the water. This is Scott from Digital Fish with content that catches.